hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this seamless typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920 and height is 180. Frame rate is 30 second long and duration is also 30 second long. And background color is red color only for reference. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles of action. Now let's select your text tool and we will type our text for the font i'm going to choose oswald but you can choose any font you want and i'm going to enable all caps and for the color i'm going to choose white color and type our text i'm going to type motion graphics select this text and hit ctrl c to copy go to the last hit space bar add one dash again press ctrl v we will follow this procedure up to four times okay so let's select this text and press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically so basically our text is ready now we need to create one mask on it so i'll select my pen tool and from here to here i'll create one mask so if you hit m you will get this mask over here now let's do one thing we will select our ellipse and this time i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill and i want stroke and stroke color i'm going to choose black color and hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this okay now select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically okay let's reduce the stroke width a little bit like this now select this ellipse go inside this ellipse path and let's try to decrease the size a little bit okay i think this much size is enough for me now after that let's select this ellipse path right click and convert to bezier path so now inside this path we will get this path option and we will create one keyframe like this okay hit u select this shape layer and bring this downwards now we will select this press m and we will press m so we can see the mask and on mask path i am going to create one keyframe now i'll select this part of the shape layer i'll select this keyframe and i'll hit ctrl c to copy i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl v to paste it so now we have this kind of mask on our text layer and now all we need to do simply select your selection tool and double click to select this ellipse and let's try to adjust it up uh, align with this you know ellipse like this now let's go inside this text path options and i'm going to choose mask so we will get this kind of stuff okay now select the shape layer press s for scaling option and scale it like this okay let's try to adjust the shape let's select this okay i think this much is okay select this yeah okay so this is you now we are done with this uh, now select both of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as black because our stroke uh, of that ellipse is black so hit okay hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter and let's call it as white and hit ok select this white go to the effect and presets and search for tint effect simply double click to apply and swap this ok now go inside this white i'll select this shape layer i'll hit ctrl c i'll go over here and i'll hit ctrl v hit enter and let's call it as mask ok now let's go inside this mask go to the add and go to the trim path go to the trim path 
and initially let's make this end property zero i'll create one keyframe then i'll go to around let's say two second or let's say three second and i'm gonna make this 100 so if i see i'll get this kind of animation okay now select this white and choose alpha mask so if i see this animation i'll get this kind of effect now i'll select this mask and i'll hit ctrl d i'll select this black one and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring this at the top and i'm going to choose alpha mask over here i'll select this mask and i'll move this over here with the help of open square bracket hit you like this so now what will happen after this i'll again i'll get reveal of this black layer now hit you and as you guys know that at six seconds uh, this is my final point so i'll hit n over here select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as circle and hit ok double click to open this now six second is last so right click and trim come to work area like this now go to the main animation so we will get something like this let's in increase the size of his now uh, we will go to the end over here i'll select this composition right click go to the time and we will go to the time enable remapping like this so we will get two keyframes over here now after this before this keyframe i am going to create one keyframe and i'll delete this keyframe and alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it so we will get this animation again so if you see we will get this 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 so we will get this animation continuously now let's do one thing we'll go inside this and i forgot to add one thing over here so let's there add that also let's select this ellipse and this time i'm going to choose fill color and choose white color let's delete this stroke and over here i'm going to create one ellipse select this and press ctrl alt home let's move this over here press s and let's adjust the size of it like this okay like this now what we need to do over here we know that this is the, our mask so what i'm gonna do i'll select this mask let's say i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring this at the top let's reveal this uh, let's say hit u uh, as you guys know that this is my mask let's enable this and this icon only so we can see these things only let's go to the last and let's delete those keyframe we don't want that and now i'm going to select the shape layer and i'll make it apparent with this mask like this and let's hide this mask i mean let's uh, disable this and let's select this mask let's hide this press r for rotation we will create one keyframe over here and oh at the last i'm going to make it to complete rotation so now we will get this kind of animation now let's select this shape layer we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will call it as drop shadow and let's increase the softness like this okay and this is going to be our controller so instead of mask i am going to name it as controller like this so as you guys can see we will get this kind of animation so uh, this is our first animation now we all we need to do is simply create duplicate so press s initially and let's decrease the size of this one hit ctrl d and let's increase the size of this one like this hit ctrl d press s adjust the size of this one like this hit ctrl d press s hit ctrl d hit ctrl d
like this and uh, after a couple of duplicates so uh, i'll select this sixth one i'm going to apply tint effect on it like this and swap this color let's select this hit ctrl c select this fourth one hit ctrl v select this one and hit ctrl v now select all of them and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as group like this press f4 and enable this icon hit ctrl d select this one press s and i'm going to increase the size of this one to this one okay let's go inside this uh, let's select this one press s let's make this 20 or let's say 19.5 yep this looks good yep so if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay now over here we need to do certain changes so let's go inside this like this select all of them and enable this icon let's make this full resolution now select all of them press r for rotation or uh, instead of that let's go inside this circle over here right click new or uh, instead of that i'll select this controller over here which is this one i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll bring this at the top and select this hit enter and let's call it as main controller like this and select hit u select all of the layers which are not parent with anyone so, uh, so basically we don't need to select this one so select all of them which are not parent with anyone and let's make it a parent with this main controller select this main controller press r for rotation uh, let's uh, hide this and now as you guys can see we will get this kind of rotation but this is two rotations so instead of that i am going to choose one only so if i see this animation i'll get something like this if i go to the main animation and if i see i'll get this kind of stuff now let's go inside this let's select this and try to rotate it on different angle select this try to rotate it on different angle like this so if you see we will get something like this and if you see this thing over here you will get something like this and if you want then you can select this uh, this one and this one right click go to the time and choose time reverse layers so now uh, they will animate in reverse direction and same change you will get here also and now press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this at the backward and if you see this in full resolution now you will get something like this it will take a little bit time to load but final output would be like this so yep this is how you will get this continuous seamless typographic animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned